When I talked about this alternative hypothesis being sugar refined grain hypothesis that appeared in my research, and it's very obvious when you look back, basically there was a whole group of physician researchers, mostly British, because the British had this colonial empire around the world, the British Empire. So they had physicians working all around the world and government hospitals and missionary hospitals, and they would notice that populations that ate their traditional diets, whatever their traditional diets were, so it could be mostly grain and mostly carbs in Southeast Asia, it could be mostly meat and fish and, and sea mammals in the Arctic regions, it could be cattle and the pastoral populations and buffalo and then elk and the Native American populations, whatever it was they were eating, they didn't seem to get these common chronic diseases until they went through what's called a nutrition transition. So they start interacting with the West, with the Europeans and the European and descendants and we start trading them sugar and flour. And when that happens, you start seeing these epidemics of obesity and diabetes.